This is the best FNAF book cover we have ever gotten. That's not even a joke. This is so good. What's up, Rozones? Welcome to the Ozone and welcome to a FNAF news video. Today we've got some Tales from the Pizzaplex news which we haven't had in a while. Now we have three announced books so far. We have the first one which is coming out in four days which is called Lally's Game. We have the second one called Haps which is going to come out two months later. And then two months after that we have Somnophobia. Well today we have a newly announced Tales from the Pizzaplex book. Tales from the Pizzaplex number four, Sub Mechanophobia. The cover for this is genuinely insane, so make sure you stick around in this video to check it out. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about theories, potential for stories in this book, and we're going to be talking about the cover. So first of all, do I like the cover and do I like the title? Absolutely. I think the title should have been a little bit different, mainly because it is a phobia title, just like how Somnophobia is a phobia title. I'm not too sure about there being two phobia titles, especially consecutively, um, so I'm, I'm not sure about that, but it's a cool title, it's a long title, and uh, I know a lot of people are going to go insane typing that out in Discord chats and uh, saying it in videos, I know I'm going to be saying it a lot. Uh, Submechanophobia, it's quite an easy word to pronounce honestly when you know what letters are in it. But uh, submechanophobia is actually the fear of uh, human objects, like man-made objects that are submerged underwater. And funnily enough, I have a massive fear of this. I'm going to show you some videos on the screen right now uh, of this sort of scary, creepy, eerie vibes that you get from submerged uh, submerged objects underwater, especially man-made, um, and I think that it is a very creepy thing to go with in a story. I don't know how it could be portrayed to be this kind of vibe in a story, but I am very excited to see what the story is about. Speaking of which, finally, let's get to the cover. Here is the cover! It is insane! What is this? It's crazy. So... <laughs> The first thing I want to point out is there's a lot going on in this cover. I find that a lot of the past covers have been very simple. It's mainly been one character or kind of one key concept. But this is one kind of foreground character and then background, background characters in kind of one colour. It kind of rem re reminds me of the Felix and the Shark cover, quite obviously because it's underwater and it uses the same colours. But this one has things in the background that make it even more interesting and it's really making me wonder what the hell is this story going to be about. I'm kind of wondering if there's some sort of underwater attraction at one of the pizza plexes. Maybe there is an entire pizza plex that is underwater. You know, in Felix the Shark, we were actually introduced to the concept that a lot of the Freddy Fazbear's pizzas were really different to one another. They're, they have different attributes, you know? Uh, Dirk from that story remembered Felix the Shark, but everybody else didn't because Felix the Shark was only at this one particular pizzeria that he went to when he was traveling around the country. So really, I, I'm, I'm excited to see if this is some sort of um, attraction, sort of like a Disney ride or something. I know that Disney did have uh, it's like this underwater ride. I've completely forgotten what it's called. I'll put it on the screen uh, to show you But you know, I, I really feel like this is some sort of Freddy Fazbear's attraction The thing is there's no Freddy Fazbear in here. So it's it's just like it's it's just underwater that, that this is the weird part. There's no kind of like FNAF connections or anything apart from the fact that the dragon thing in the background whatever it is is actually a animatronic. You can kind of see the wiring, or not the wiring, but you can kind of see the, the metal rods in the back. We also have this weird zombie mermaid kind of creature. I love that a lot. Um, and I really hope that all of these animatronics are gonna kind of come to life and come chasing the protagonist. And then, okay, let's talk about it finally. We have the incredibly creepy design in the front of this scuba diver whose kind of face isn't visible apart from this big grin with big white teeth and glowing eyes. 
So really, I don't really know what else there is to say. I, I guess there is just going to be this attraction in the Pizzaplex. It's very different to all the others. It's underwater. Uh, we're going to go under the water. Uh, maybe the ride is going to stop or something and the protagonist. I don't know. I don't know what this is going to be. I would love to see how it connects and I would love to see what kind of theories come out of this sort of story. Uh, but I do know for sure that this is going to be a weird story uh, compared to all the others. I do wonder why there's so many like phobia stories. Um, kind of makes me... Because like phobia is like a word that you'd associate kind of with a therapist if you think about it. Because you don't really use like arachnophobia in, in everyday life. You don't use somnophobia. You don't use submechanophobia. You say that as like a therapist to someone like you you have this certain phobia let's hope you get exposed to it and let's help you through it um and i really feel like maybe there's something going on with all of these people with different phobias or it could just be a theme for these books i don't know we're just gonna have to wait and see anyway hopefully you enjoyed this video let me know what you think about this cover in the description or in the description in the comments below and i'll see you in another video <laughs> goodbye